Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up, subscribe to this family-friendly channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any posts. Also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore e. Now let's get to the recap. We took off from right where the last episode ended. And Winter says, you know, it's sad that Denise is gone and that things have worked out the way that they've worked out. But let's just all just cheers to Denise being here. And they all do a cheers to say their final goodbyes to Denise. And it's the final couples. And even Winter and Anthony said, you know, wow, it's, it's only you and I. But, you know, Adriana surely has some decisions to make. And Calfani says, you know, well, I thought we were going to you know, rock it to the end, me, Denise, and, you know, Anthony, and kind of saying how we felt, but it just seems like it's just the five that are left, and they're like, yeah, man, it's only you and I, and Adriana has some decisions to make, it's only five people, and Kelfani says, you know, Rashid and I have never been, you know, in this rivalry or had any type of conflict, but we are competing for the same woman, and I'm not taking number two, I'm very, very competitive, and especially when it comes to Adriana, and Adriana says, you know, my dad is a therapist and a preacher, so it will be very interesting to see the questions that he'll ask Kelfani and Rashid. And Rashid wants to speak with Adriana alone. And as they sit down, as he's talking to her breast, he tells her, you know, you're number one, but I need to see where your mind is. I mean, I feel like I'm dangling by a rope here because I'm all in and there's really no additional feedback on how you're feeling. And Adriana says, you know, I know it's a decision I have to make, but both of you are different and each of you brings something different. And she makes a production clip into saying that I can feel Rashid is pushing away and it feels strange. I just, I don't know about this situation. And Rashid says, I feel like I've drifted in the ocean without a paddle and so now I have to figure out, am I going to be by myself out here alone or not? Rashid says to production that I'm giving her my all. And at this point, maybe it's just not enough. Winter meets with her sister Keisha and she shows up with just this amazing energy. And she's like, this is a real cute scene, huh? Hey, and she's just ready to chill with her sister. And Winter says, I'm so happy that my sister is here. She knows me so well. She helps me with certain decisions. And I really want her to just maybe hear and see some things with Anthony or certain things that I missed. And Keisha says, so spill the tea what's been going on and what's what's the update with everything and she says well i think you'll like him he has a peaceful spirit he's funny i feel that i could see something with him in the future and it could really be something real for me and then we see anthony walk up and anthony says to production it's definitely nerve-wracking meeting someone's family because family is so important to people and keisha says well you know did you grow up in the church and he's like yeah you know my dad is actually the superintendent there and we're baptists and she says oh Oh, that's nice so i mean what thing what are some things you like to do for fun he says well i love to roller skate and he loves music and he can hold a little note when it comes to having fun especially with karaoke and i'm saying to myself this is the most we've found out about anthony this entire time i haven't known jack squat about anthony besides that he likes to play games during dates but i digress keisha says you know i'm loving his energy and the vibe and he's definitely um, somebody that could come to the cookout. And Anthony's like, well, that's great knowing that I can come to the cookout. And that's just amazing. But she wants to ask Anthony, have you ever been in love? And Anthony says, no, because, you know, as I was telling Winter, I was in love with just nothing but football at the time. And I felt that me being with somebody else, I really couldn't be 100% with them. So rather than just lead them on, I just really wasn't looking for love like that. And as he's speaking, it's very interesting to see Winter looking at her sister's reactions to see how she's feeling what he's saying. Keisha also asked him about marriage and he says, you know, I want to make sure that the person that I'm with, that we're on the same page and I never want to rush into marriage and marriage. And Keisha's just like, of course, of course not. That's not something that you want to rush into. They share hugs, talk about how they were so pleased to meet one another. And Anthony says goodbye so the ladies can chit chat. And Keisha tells her sister that he's a good guy. I love his, his energy, that he's open for love, but I don't think he's ready 100% there. And there's something that you got to look out for that. 
that's something that you got to keep in your mind. And he said that he's ready for something, just not nothing serious, not really looking for marriage either. And Winter feels that she's kissed a lot of frogs, but feels that Anthony just might be her prince. Kelfani meets up with his parents, of course, with his big mouth. Ha ha, how y'all doing? I'm so happy to see y'all. Because it's time for his parents to meet Adriana. And Adriana in her production clip says, you know, you usually don't meet someone's parents until you're like super serious. And this is scary because I don't want to say the wrong things. His mom starts off with a super simple question. So do you like Cal? And there's some laughs and Adriana says, well, yes. And jokes that, hey, when we first got here to this resort, everybody liked Cal Fani. Everybody wanted to be with him. And the dad says, you know, that's what I t was telling her. It's the um, Ganyan uh, pheromone <laughs> that's irresistible. And, you know, they're laughing and Adriana's just like, oh, uh -huh, yeah. I know it was something. Meanwhile, inside the resort, Rashid takes a call with his sister and wants her advice on some things. And he says, versus bringing my sister down, I really feel some type of way of introducing people to family because when it's something like that, I am real and I am in a relationship and I am serious about it. And Adriana's really not giving me those vibes anymore. And he's saying, you know, Adriana's feelings about me have changed and women have you know, their intuitions and just like women, guys have gut feelings too. And if I'm feeling that I'm selling myself to you and you're not really feeling it, that goes to show that now I'm not courting you anymore. I'm ch chasing you. And the sister says, well, you know, trust your gut. I mean, you're smart. If you feel some type of way and you feel that there's something not right there and you go with your gut, feel that your decision is right. And Rashid, Rashid says, well, you know, well, she's here. Would you like to just talk with her? And the sister says, well, just listening to how you feel and the capacity of how everything is going down, maybe it wouldn't be a good idea for me to speak to her at this time. So with that being said, what do you think your next, next steps are? And Rashid doesn't give an answer. Back at the date, well, Kalfani, his parents say that they have a big family and it's very important to them. And Adriana feels good that he has such a tight knit family and that they get together pretty much every Sunday after church and they have meals. And when she was growing up, she really didn't have that. So she's just really, really feeling the fact that his family is so close and wants to be part of such a wonderful thing. Cal's parents, they like her and they feel that her intentions are are genuine and they confirm that Kelfani is making a good decision and they feel that she is a good pick. And Kalfani says in his production clip that, wow, she's, she's winning right now. She's winning in life. And I'm like, uh, okay, Kalfani, cocky much? Anthony is super excited to see his sister, Tanya. And Anthony says to production, you know, I'm always with my sister. You see me, you see my sister. And if you get along with my sister, then it's going to be tough to be with me. Then we see Winter. She comes out and gives hugs to Winter. And she's just like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. You're so gorgeous. Mm. And she gives her this really, really tight hug because she's just talked with her brother. And her brother seems like he's giving different energy and talking about her and meeting this wonderful person and that with coming here at this resort he didn't know that he would like somebody the way that he did so she's super excited to meet winter she's just complimenting her how beautiful she is and she wants to know like you know what does a gorgeous woman like you you know want with anthony and winter says you know i feel like you know when i was dating the men weren't looking for the same things that I was and not looking for that next level. And Tanya says, yeah, because, you know, only women, the only women that I was introduced that Anthony would talk about were his friends or like girlfriends, kind of, that he kind of kept around for a long time, but it never went anywhere. So I've, I've, I've just preached certain things for a long time, but you know, my brother is just going to do what he wants to do. And Winter looks at Anthony with some suspicion, like, you know, what she mean by that? Anthony says in a production clip, like, nobody's going to rush me. Just like nobody wants to be rushed into something, I don't want to be rushed into any situation. Cal and Adriana talk, and Cal tells her, you know, my parents really like you. And, you know, when it comes to the future, 
it's up to you how this goes along. And Adriana says, you know, this is cool. It's just different. You know, Rashid, I feel a sense of, you know, security and calm. But with you, it's just, I don't know. But she says in the production clip that it feels like untouched territory. And it's something that she doesn't know about. It's like taking this chance to see where this goes with him. We go back with Tanya and Winter and Anthony. And Tanya says, you know, ask me some things about Anthony. And Winter says, well, do you feel that he's ready for love? And she says, well, you know, only God knows that. But what I can say about my brother is that he's very honest. So if he's telling me that he's feeling you, I believe him. So before she's ready to go, Tanya gets up and says, before I leave, I just need one more hug before I leave because you are so gorgeous. So she gets up and she gives Winter another nice long hug and says, oh, I just I just wish you the best. It's just wonderful. Anthony and Cal have a little guy talk and he says, you know, I met with the fam and everything seemed pretty good. I mean, even her sister invited me to the cookout, so I'm good. And things with winter seem to be going pretty smooth and easy. And he makes a production clip and saying, I've always been guarded and it's pressure. And I just don't like all this pressure. And Anthony just keeps emphasizing it. Like, I don't want to feel this pressure, but yeah. And Kelfani just tells him, hey, if you're feeling good about Winter and the family seem like they like her, then you should be straight. Rashid has another sit down with Adriana and he wants to tell her, look, we've been here eight weeks now and there's not one more date that I can go on. There's not an additional date that Kelfani can go on. And I just feel like at this point, I'm trying to prove and sell myself to you. You know, what else could I do at this point? You know, I feel like maybe I have to remove myself from this situation because there's no answers or additional things that you can tell me. And Adriana says, you know, it seems like you're giving up. I mean, Kyle says to me, look, I know Rashid is your number one, but I'm going to see where this goes and keep moving forward. And Rashid says to production that when she said that, I may need to listen to her constructive criticism and just hang in there a little while longer. Adriana meets with her dad and she says that they're super duper close and she knows that her dad is going to help her with those red flags and maybe some things that she's missed. So, of course, Adriana and her dad have to meet with both Kalfani and Rashid because those are her final picks and the men that are left at the resort. The dad speaks with Kalfani and says, you know, well, what are some of your hobbies? And he says, well, um... I love to work out. And in a production clip, he says, I hope he's not trying to psychoanalyze me. And he goes on and he continues and says traveling and bodybuilding. And the dad says, you know, life throws some curveballs. So what do you do when life gets you down? And he says, well, my spirituality. And when things get tough, I just get on my knees and I pray and I ask the Lord to help me. Then her dad starts to ask more biblical questions. When a man leaves and cleaves to his wife, what do you think that means? And what makes you human? And in Cal's production clip, he's like, with his big mouth again, ah, 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 he trying to ask me these questions. I mean, I'm definitely being psychoanalyzed. Ah, you know, we're both human. What does that have to do with your daughter? Okay, I mean, what kind of question is that? But he says that he'll just stay cool and try to answer the questions to the best of his ability. He then asked both of the guys back and forth, what are the top 10 things that in life that are important to you? And they both have good answers, you know, family, God, honesty, trust, etc. And Cal, towards the end of the meeting with her dad, Cal says, well, I have a meeting um, to get to. And Adriana in her production clip is just like, why did he say that he had a meeting? I mean, we're at a resort. What meeting did you have to go to? But she laughs it off and she's saying that to production and maybe he said that out of just his nerves by mistake and was just trying to think of the best thing to say to close the meeting. The dad then speaks with Rashid and asks him some basic questions. So what attracted you to Adriana? And Rashid says her smile. You mean, you know, I, you just look at her and she just makes the whole room light up. And he says to the dad, you know, well, you look like you played a little football. And the dad says, yeah, I did. I played, you know, free safety at, HB, at an HBCU. 
And Rashid's like, really? I went to an HBCU, Alabama A&M. And the dad was like, oh, you know, I went to, you know, Arkansas PB. And the dad is loving every moment. And he's like, well, all right, okay. Oh, you know, when the old people feeling you, they're like, well, I'll show you right. Oh, okay, all right. So they have their nice little little moment. So as they answer those questions, of course, what are the top 10 things? And he gives his top 10 things. The dad is loving every moment of it. Rashid, as it gets closer to the meeting with her dad, he says it was wonderful to meet meet you it was nice knowing you he gives adriana a hug gives her dad a handshake and he leaves and after that adriana meets with her dad and says okay so what do you think about both guys and we go to commercial because we there it leaves the suspense and wondering what did her dad say about each guy adriana then meets with rashid to talk and as she sits down, she says, you know, I feel uneasy. And Rashid says, well, I can tell with your body language and your tone that there's something on your mind. But just say what you mean, you know. And she's like, oh, you know, with that ugly face, that squinch face. She'd be doing, oh, you know, you know, I'm, you know, right. I'm never good at that. You know, it's just, I just need to say what I need to say, right. And he's like, well, you know, just say whatever's on your heart and we can go from there. And Adriana says, you know, when we first got here, everything was great. You know, the energy, you know, the flirting, the chemistry. But, you know, my dad liked you, but noticed some of the same things that I did, too. And we see a clip and her dad telling her that Rashid is a great guy. He just didn't see any chemistry between her and Rashid. Adriana goes on to say, well, it's just hard for me to say this, but... Um, I decided to move forward with Kelfani, and you can see the true disappointment in Rashid's face. And Rashid says, well, you know, life happens and it's unfortunate, but it's okay. You know, I want you to be happy. You're an amazing woman and I wish you and Cal the best. Keep being you. Just keep being you. And he's saying this as he gently holds her hand. And Rashid makes his production clip and saying that things went differently. Um, I guess she just, you know, didn't see things the same. And it's just the way it is. I have to accept that. And I just wish her all the best. Winter shows up to speak with Anthony. She has this beautiful yellow dress on. And Anthony tells her she's looking good in that yellow. Not yellow, but yellow. That she looks so good and he has to say yellow. And while they're talking to one another, Winter's looking beautiful. While Anthony is looking like vampire in Brooklyn. And Winter wants to know, like, do you feel like you're here for love. And Anthony says, trust me, I'm a very romantic person, but I don't want to make a decision that backfires, you know, once I make that decision. But, you know, once I make a commitment, I'm all in. I just got that wall up right now because I want to make sure that everything's true. And Winter says, you know, you do know that, you know, that's the whole point to go to this next step of making the decision of being ready to love. And Anthony says, I know, you know, it's crunch time and you will see how I feel soon. It's the next day and it's the final moments in knowing are these two couples ready to love? Winter is waiting for Anthony and Calfani is waiting for Adriana in her decision. Winter waits and as she's waiting, you can tell she's very nervous. She's kind of fidgety, breathing in and out. And as she's sitting there, Anthony shows up and she's very happy and she's like, oh, you know, he showed up. And as he gets to her, he says, you know, this journey has been an adventurous one and I believe that I'm ready to love. And Winter says, I know you're ready to love, but are you ready to love me? And Anthony says, um, yes. And he says it with certainty and they share a special kiss. And he says, you know, he wants to continue to grow and learn more about her and he wants to go forward. And then they share a nice long kiss. Cal waits for Adriana and he sees her walk up and he's just taken back by her beauty and how beautiful he looks. And he's like, you look amazing. And he makes a production clip and saying that no matter what her decision is, I'm happy that we just got to this point and I got to know such a wonderful person. And Adriana says, last night I talked with Rashid and I told him that he's ready to love but not ready to love me. And Cal with his big mouth says, ah, ha, ha, ah, ah, I was so nervous. Ah, I'm so glad you picked me. Ha, ha. 
And, you know, it's this laugh that he does. So she lets him know that she's happy with Kelfani. There was chemistry. She felt more with him. And they're both happy and ready to move forward. They share wonderful hugs and kisses and say how happy they are that they've known one another. And they're excited to see how this thing goes further. Winter and her number two meet up with Calfani and Adri Adriana and Anthony feels like he's a new person and so-called ready to love and they all do a cheers to saying cheers to happiness and continued new friendships and they all say hey Tommy got something for us on the side let's all get in this boat and they take a nice boat ride and they're all talking about oh this is great we're all very happy and they take a boat into the sunset and that is the end of the episode hey everybody it's your girl bunny now look 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 before i get started you know i gotta give you that look you know if you have been following my reviews for this season you know that everything that happened in tonight's episode i predicted i told y'all i have yet to be wrong i was correct this entire season i told y'all what would happen tonight would happen there is so much i want to go over let me just go in order okay so let's start with adriana and calfani now as i watched it as as things progressed i went i i, I, I knew it i knew it with adriana there was this picture painted in her mind uh like you know well we were going down this path and everything was great and fireworks and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, you know, things changed and, you know, unfortunately things weren't the same. And if you have any sense, just like Rashid had that look on his face, like clearly that's not true because you guys had a strong attraction for one another. Now I paid very close attention when this so-called shift started to happen. When Rashid spilled his guts and said that he was ready, he's looking at family, he's looking at this, he's looking at that, looked this woman in her eye and said, I'm putting you first. I know we're dating other people, but you are my number one. You are my priority. You are my this, you are my that. He was telling her all of this stuff from from a certain particular time as soon as he said that you could tell that her emotions shifted now i said just like dudes some guys you know aren't ready to turn in a player card and i said in the last review women have them too and i honestly feel that because think about it because not too much longer ago she was talking about wearing t-shirts to his son's sporting events and having more children once she got that word that that he looked her to the eye in the eyes and was grown man about it her eyes was just like dang he not just that talking that rah rah like he's for real uh oh and with Kelfani, it's this explore and let's see and I'm looking forward to and he was more open to uh. and as she said in this episode right she said that mm, Rashid is this certainty he's what I feel comfortable with he's blah 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 and with Kelfani, it's this guy of going to unknown this this uncertainty that's there I'm telling y'all Adriana is not ready for the commitment that she thinks she's ready for. She's still ready to get the walls tapped just a little bit and then have the, the, the security of knowing I'm not in this super duper committed relationship because Rashid was on the path to we dating because eventually we're going to get married and we're going to have some children, like you said, because that's what you wanted. The, the, the grown man energy stepped in. And she backed out. When she says, oh, the chemistry changed and all that, y'all was just slobbing each other down. What do you mean it just changed all of a sudden? And it, Adriana, girl, that's what happened. Just be real. He was on that grown man stuff. And when you saw he was for real, you said, oh, snap. Like, we not playing games anymore. Oh, this is not for TV. He's serious. Uh-oh, you know. 
uh, of course they had that physical attraction, her and Kelfani. And you guys didn't start sharing some kisses, you and Kelfani, until a little later. I just feel that there's not 100% honesty with Adriana. And she said in previous episodes, you know, I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. But I still need to make a decision. Translation, I got to pick for the show. What I've been saying this whole time, she really wants both. She don't want to be locked down. And as I said, just be grown about it. Get you some vitamin D and move on. And when you're really, really ready, then you might find that man. <sighs> Call me wrong. But mm, everything that I've been saying this entire time with Adriana, with Rashid, and Kelfani has been true. I've kept saying, girl, if you for real, for real, and if you have attraction to that man like that, make it work. But I said her and certain things that she says conflict with one another, and she's not gonna pick Rashid. She's gonna pick Kelfani. But I feel when all is said and done, she's not gonna have either. She's not gonna be talking to Kelfani in the long run. We may see them together on the reunion special, but when we're talking about something serious, I wouldn't bet my money on it. I should have bet my money on it, you know, that I said she was gonna pick Kelfani, but I'm not surprised. If you follow me, you, you should have said, Bunny said this was gonna happen. Bunny said that this was gonna happen, and I was right. Let's move on to the next couple, okay? I told y'all the situation with Winter and Anthony, and I was so right. What I said in the last review is that Anthony is a football player. He's been in that career forever, and that is his uh, excuse, per se, of why he hasn't fallen in love and why he hasn't seen a relation, been in a relationship. Because look, translation, he was getting his hoe and his freak on as an athlete, and he didn't want to commit. Cool. I'm, full, I'm I'm cool with that. Just say that. Don't 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 give us this 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 Morse code and the why you never fell in love. You you, you don't like some people, as the sister said. You done brought some people around, some girlfriends, some people you was kicking it with, and it just didn't evolve in, in, into anything because you still had your player card. You still have the player card now, and you do not want to turn it in. I also said that the people that are at the resort just weren't compatible. They're all great people, but they're just not compatible. But him with his football athlete mind, keep in mind, I grew up an athlete. I understand this, okay? I don't care if it's playing tic-tac-toe with somebody, you are here to win. You, doesn't matter if you play an eight-year-old, okay? And they lose. The goal is to win. I don't, what are you talking about? Feelings? Anyway, my point, he went into winner mode. Whatever comes out in this outcome, the goal is to win. Women, men are very simplistic when it comes to saying what they want and what they don't want. Anthony said to Winter, I don't know how many times I'm in love and I want to be in love. I don't want to, I don't want to, eh, 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 eh. you even said Winter that when it came to other guys talking to you, he was just like, oh, well, here you go, that you didn't like that. All these things that you didn't like about Anthony, all of a sudden, You've forgotten that you don't like those things anymore. Like I said in the last review, Winter just wants to be loved by someone. Anthony was just wanting to win because they're at the resort and the show, the object is to find somebody, but he would have saw going home by himself as a loss and not necessarily him losing out on love. The goal was to him for him to go home, not empty, empty handed with a win. That kiss that they shared was so trash, and I give Anthony a stellar, a stellar bravo for that performance. It was excellent for television. He was in complete character. And kudos to you, sir, kudos to you, because that performance was outstanding and absolutely splendiferous. I, for a split second, believed that you were just really gung ho for winter. Lies, all lies. That kiss was trash. That hug was trash. Your performance, excellent. Winter, if you have anybody since, you can see through that because there were a lot of things that you weren't feeling about Anthony and Boo, I hate to tell you, had Jay not gone home. You know the rest. You know the rest. Anthony is your default and a default because you don't wanna be lonely. Come on, let's keep it real. When Anthony went home and he said he was gonna be with joy because of the situation that happened, which I completely understand, your whole body just, 
I understand. Your whole mojo went into the trash and you thought, well, Anthony's still here. Let me just proclaim trying to fix this also un, 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 unready, emotionally unavailable person as well. Run as fast as you can and seek therapy. And I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm saying that because you have to be completely content in yourself and knowing you don't need someone to validate you and you trying to fix everything. You know what I'm saying? Well, I would be honored if I would be his first love. And he said that, you know, he's not, we'll see where this goes. And it, what? What? Tell, tell me, tell, tell me that that's not something you need to think about. There are words, now many of you will say, well, he did say, we're going to see where this goes. And this is his first time. And he's, well, he said what he said. He said, you know, um, we're going to move forward. But, you know, I do still have this wall up. He was going for the win in his athletic mind and not going home empty, empty handed and winter not going home, not wanting to go home on her own. Girl, your first choice was Jay. Your first choice was Jay. You was getting them pecks on the cheeks and begging for kisses. And Anthony, you was just kicking it. And when you was with him, you really wasn't feeling him like that because you said he's not really showing how much he likes me. And he's, and then all of a sudden he just ready for you. Girl, la la la. Winter, it's almost fall. And fall, you know, you about to go through the seasons. You're gonna have to go through these seasons by yourself. But you can't do that because you don't wanna be by yourself. I know you're ready to love. I know you, we all been there. You got so much love to give and you're just ready to just spill it and just give it to somebody. But that, that, that ain't the true, true, unconditional. I'm like, look, I get it's a show and, and, and nothing's going to happen overnight. You have to let it evolve, but he's giving you and throwing all these red flags, football flags, just throwing at you. And you just looking past them. What was that? I didn't see it. I, I didn't see that. Speaking of Anthony, uh, your sister, Tanya, I was really getting some bisexual vibes when she hugged Winter. She was like, oh, I really like that dress. I like it. I really li 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 like it, girl. You're so beautiful. She was, I almost said, what you doing with Anthony? Why don't you come over here? Like she was asking for all these hugs and looking at her breast. Women, how many women do you hug and you look them up and down and you stay focused on their breasts for a minute? Then when they were done with the conversation, she said, well, give me another hug. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. Girl, come on. Uh, come on, Tanya. Are you on that la la la? Asking for a friend because I really want to know. You was giving me the vibes, girl. You was like, if it don't work out with Anthony. Because he's just always asking me these questions. I'm tired asking and answering and being there for my brother. Whew. Tanya. Mm. 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 Anthony, girl, Anthony, go on and go on and let her step in the name of love over to Tanya. I'm just saying. Tanya's emotionally available. Oh, if you have, look, if you've been following me since episode one, I told y'all about Denise straight up before she opened her mouth. I said, anybody that has a casting photo like this, there might be some issues. Cause I panned that whole in the casting episode in this playlist. I said, just from the photos and her energy, she, this individual may be very interesting. I, I, this is, you know, I'm one of those people, you know, you, 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 you get vibes from, from looks or energy. I, I have an old soul and I was just like, mm, mm. I said that about Naya. I need y'all to rewatch these episodes. I might have to put a compilation video together where I was right all those times. I said that if Edwin is not voted off by the women because they weren't ready for a grown man in a grown man situation, he was going to eliminate himself because he had enough sense to say, you know what? I said, 
that he would say to himself, this is not working for me and I'm going to remove myself from this situation. I said that I said the situation with Jay and, and, and I still feel, you know, I just, I can recap all of that. I said, Jay, I don't think Jay was feeling joy. Like we thought she was like, kiss me on the cheek. Okay. Kiss me on the other one. You know, a man going to be like, girl, let me give you a kiss. Like, I'm not going to ask you what? <laughs> get out of here and then get out of town. And then when you get out of town, go over the Pacific Ocean and then go to other countries. Like, really get out. Like, go. And it was just something that I just, ah. Uh. Okay, let me go back to Adriana and Rashid. Okay, so mm, let's just say that I'm completely wrong. And Adriana was just, just so just, I want to take care of your child and have all the babies with you with your big mouth and we're just gonna make this happen right it is true that if if there's not a physical attraction and there's not the chemistry then it's not there that's true I just really really felt Rashid Edwin and David were the top picks of people who were for real for real ready to be there now I do think a majority of the people there did have an ulterior motive you can't force something. You can have two good compatible people and they look good on paper and you're like, oh, this person, and this person, they look good together. But if there's not any chemistry and, and it's not both ways, then it won't work. If she wasn't feeling Rashid like that, then she just wasn't feeling Rashid. Maybe I just thought she would see those, those beautiful soup coolers, the height, the, the intelligence, the wisdom, I just thought she would see all of that and just, you know, she just wasn't ready. Edwin, with those very broad shoulders, um, was ready for everything, just not with the women that were there. I really, really think he was ready because the way that he brought joy onto that yoga, that special yoga date, um, and she sat in his lap and he cussed her thighs um, and sat hit her in his lap, he was ready. Mm -hmm. Um, girl, I, for a man to do that with you and you like, this is too freaky. I'm going back to my room. Y'all wasn't compatible. He was compatible for somebody, but just not somebody that was there. So uh, somebody that was ready for Edwin would have said, you got PTSD. You going through something. Maybe you should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Maybe you can love him and that. Somebody would have been out there with yoga and was just like, tell me, tell me what happened. <laughs> the women there weren't willing to do that. The compatibility this season was just like, eh. And the people that picked each other at the end were default people. People was leaving, going home, was like, I'm out. When Rashid sat down with Adriana, I thought he was going to leave because he was like, look. If that ain't Southside, look, look, baby, I didn't, I didn't look. I didn't told you I was ready. I didn't say, you know, you met my mama and everything. You didn't have my special ribs. Um, you know what I'm saying? I let you fold some of my clothes and clean my countertops at my apartment. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I was ready. Like I thought he was, when he was talking to her like that, I was like, he's about to go. He about to leave. I thought he was going to eliminate himself when she was just like that. And she didn't eat my diet. Uh, and he here with me, Rashid, that friend that came to visit Adriana, call her. She was feeling you. The one that was just like, oh, check, check, check. I know Rashid's DMs are blowing up. I know Edwin's is blowing up. I have said several, several times before that when I do reality show uh, recaps and reviews, I do not, I try so hard not to find or look for anybody on social media or follow them. I know a few have reached out, they have followed me and I followed them back. But when it comes to interviews that have been on YouTube and stories, I said la 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 to that, didn't look at it, didn't care because I wanted my reviews and things based solely upon what we saw together as viewers on the show. And now that things are more coming to a 
I close with this series, you can't help but to see things pop up on your feed about certain people that was just like, I don't wanna look at it, I'm gonna look at it because I really, really don't want to know anything until the show is over, until we look at the, the, the two parts of the reunion that's coming up and then start kind of reaching out and looking at backstories and people and what's going on. If I were on a reality show, I would completely stay off of social media because I would want people to look at the show for what it is and then do interviews and then talk to people. That's just me because production looks at the way you move. And a lot of people that I've been finding out are, are aspiring actors. And if you're an aspiring actor, if you plan on being on, on anything in the future that has to do with reality, they're going to know how you move and shake. They're going to know, well, this person went on this interview and spilled the beans and that, and that episode hadn't even came out yet. This person did this. This person talking about this. So if any of you are, that were on the show, listen to your girl because I know a few things about productions and about shows. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you have a kind of clue what I, what I do. But um, there's really nothing else I can say because I was right this whole time. I told y'all about everywhere. I told y'all watch out for Naya. I told y'all watch out for Denise. I told y'all watch out. All these things. I said that people wouldn't be ready for Edwin. People would not be ready for David. People wouldn't be ready for Rashid. And that's exactly what happened. So I hope as a viewer that you appreciate it. All of the divs, all of the clarity, all of the just following the show as it goes. Get ready for the reunion that will be next week. I cannot wait. After this show, I'm going to start to do more live filming and more live uh, things with certain shows. But I didn't do it with this one because, like I said, I wanted everything to be in order. And also, I wanted to give recaps for people that don't have cable or people that do not have the own network because with some cable services own is not an option um, on their channel listing. So I wanted to give this to someone watching the show and going along as if they don't have the channel and give as much detail as possible. I don't like to mix in interviews and this, what, this is what I heard and all that because we wanna focus and have tunnel vision on the show. Stay tuned. There's so many other shows coming up now that, that, that more productions are releasing more shows. We have more access to things. More movies have come out. We have so much more. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've appreciated the accuracy that I've given this entire time. I love y'all. I can't wait to the reunion special and stay tuned. We have more shows coming next, next week. And my slogan for the channel, when one show ends, another one takes its place. So when this show ends, another one will take its place. I keep the shows coming without a doubt. I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. There'll be a video posted soon on the Ayana Fix My Life series and why that's coming to a close and certain things about Ayana that she's talked about and the futures of the show and the network. Stay tuned for that. I love y'all. Have a good weekend, a good week, all that good stuff. Hydrate, love yourself, eat right, eat good. I love y'all. Till next time. Bye. <laughs>